Here's something I want you to think about. If you are diving into AI for your business, and oh my God, if you're not, I don't even know what to say about that because AI is not the future, you guys. It is right now and it is happening. So if you want to monetize your podcast using AI tools, and a mini chat chatbot is one of them. So I can tell you that just doing that has resulted in about 22% of our revenues so far this year. Welcome back, you guys. I have gotten so many questions in my DMs recently over my favorite AI tools to use in order to make my life just immensely easier as an entrepreneur. And so today I'm gonna give you the four things I do not regret spending money on as an entrepreneur. These things have literally saved me so many hours and quite frankly have also saved me money because I don't have to hire as many people onto my team. So let's jump straight into it. If you are diving into AI for your business and oh my God, if you're not, I don't even know what to say about that because AI is not the future, you guys. It is here, it is right now and it is happening. And if you're not jumping in, then you're literally letting your competitors get the edge on you and I never recommend that. Be the one who has the edge. So if you're going to use AI, obviously you have to have your AI platform. I personally upgraded ChatGPT. I pay about $20 a month for the upgraded version. You can do Gemini, you can do Chat, you can do Claude, or you can do DeepSeek. All of those are great platforms. Here's something I want you to think about though. Claude I have found is really good for storytelling and copywriting. So if you wanna write some really good emails or blogs, I think I do feel like Claude is better for that than ChatGPT is. However, I am choosing to stick with Chat, um, the upgraded version, because as of yesterday, when I was glancing through some of the legal terms, one of the things I noticed is it very specifically, at the time of this recording at least, says in the chat terms that if you're on the free version, what you place into chat can be used for their algorithms, can be used for their learning mechanisms. So basically, you're giving them your material. If you're on the paid version, your stuff is your stuff. They do not use it to feed the machine. And so you are not actually giving them material. You're pulling from other people's material in, you know, in order to make yours. So I like that fact. I did not find that to be true with Claude or Gemini. What concerned me the most about DeepSeek, and this is something that obviously I am not an attorney, so I would encourage if you're choosing to use any of these and you're concerned about your intellectual property being put out there you know, for the world to see, then consult an attorney and have them read over the terms with you. But what I saw on DeepSeek was, in little bitty writing, that basically they own everything that is produced through DeepSeek. So if you come up with a new course, a new book, you're using that AI version or AI tool actually to create something for your organization or your company, DeepSeek actually has the right to come at you later and go after your, your revenue because ultimately what they said in their terms and conditions is anything produced through their AI tool, they, they have the rights to. Very unlikely, in my opinion, that they would actually chase you down if you like wrote a book or a course using their AI as intellectual property that belongs to DeepSeek, but the terms are there. And so if you're concerned with AI having access to all your information, I want you to know those things up front before you decide which platform to use and make some really smart decisions for your business. Again, get an attorney involved, have them read through the terms and conditions before you make your ultimate decision. I am not an attorney. This is just my reading through things and making a decision on my behalf that I do not regret paying for ChatGPT's upgraded version. The other thing I do not regret at all spending money on, and you can get this on Amazon, is the Plod Note Pen Bundle. Okay, and I will link it in the show notes as well. Here's the thing, I feed everything into chat. Chat and I have so many conversations in a given day because truly the more you can feed into chat, the better it gets on understanding you, your voice, your brand, your personality, all of the things involved in having it give you outputs that don't sound like a generic bot gave them to you, which is obviously what we all want. So what I found is a lot of times when I'm coaching or speaking on stage or something like that, like there are these moments that just come out of me. That's when I'm at my most creative because the flow is occurring. And 
a lot of times I look back, I'm like, damn, I wish I had written that down or I wish I had that for, you know, for chat to know that this is what I said, this is what I believe, this is who I am. And so by getting the plod bundle, I was able to actually put the little recorder on. Now, if I step on stage or I step into a coaching situation or anything like that, like I just let it record it. My free flow conversations, my free flow thought as I'm doing things. And then I can go pull the transcript and upload that into chat. So it gets to know me even better. In fact, because I've been doing this, I've actually written some better keynotes because chat has been able to look at some of the past trainings I've done and pulled out the best moments of them and redone some of my you know new keynotes with them so that I am more powerful as a speaker because I'm literally recording almost everything I do all day long so that my AI tool really starts to understand me. So that one, I think it cost about, I don't know, I wanna say $120 on Amazon, somewhere around in that, totally worth spending the money on in my opinion. Again, I will link all of this in the show notes for you guys. The other thing I do not regret spending money on, mini chat, the pro version. All right, we teach in the Press Record membership all kinds of ways to monetize your podcast using AI tools. And a mini chat chat bot is one of them. It is so easy to set up flows within mini chat. And I teach all of this in my membership and I actually give people the templates for my flows, but it is so easy to do something like, Hey, DM me the word 197 when you drop like episode 197 for your podcast. Okay. So they DM 197. They get a DM in their Instagram or their Facebook messenger with a direct link to the exact episode that they're looking for. I never encourage someone to use mini chat just to go to the generic podcast, because quite frankly, if I'm reading on Instagram or Facebook about a specific episode, I don't want to have to hunt for that episode. So give them the specific episode in the chat bot. But what you do is then if you know that that episode was let's just say we were talking about a course that you have or my press record membership, then you can use a mini chat flow to follow up specifically to the right offer that you can share with someone based on the episode that they're watching. So if you were to reply back the episode number, you give them the episode and then you set up your AI mini chat to basically say, okay, 30 minutes later, send them another message get some answers from them, find out what they're really interested in, or let's, let's talk them in a funnel into the exact offer that's right for them. We pull this one out of our AI mini chat hat all the time. And you guys, the amount of revenue that gets generated out of that is almost ridiculous. And it's on autopilot. Like I, don't do anything more than record the episode, determine the right flow in mini chat. Am I going to ask them for a review after it? Or am I going to send them to a monetization? Or am I simply going to have a conversation with them? We've got several different tactics to use in the podcasting funnel. But at the end of the day, I don't do anything more than that. I set up the mini chat, I record the episode, I know which offer it's going to tie to if I want it to do that. And then when people find it on Instagram, or they find it on Facebook, they DM me the word, they DM me the number, you know, whatever the magic keyword is that I've decided on. And then we flow them in a sales funnel straight into either low ticket offers that we have or straight into the press record membership. And again, we track everything we do here at Podcast Her. So I can tell you that just doing that has resulted in about 22% of our revenues so far this year, which is mind boggling when you consider that I'm not actually having to do anything. I'm making money in my sleep. Like I will wake up in the morning and pick up my phone and look at Slack and the little sales channel that we have in Slack has just been pinging away because we put a new mini chat out there that leads people correctly and funnels them into our offers. So if you want to monetize, it's particularly with AI, then mini chat is worth the monthly fee. It's like 15 to $25 ish a month, depending on how many contacts you have in your mini chat. But not only can you grow your email list, grow your revenue too with it. All right. So finally, and this one may blow some of your minds too. One of the things I don't mind spending money on 11 labs. So 11 labs is an AI tool that you can actually use to generate your voice. So, so fun. So when we set up 11 labs, what we did 
We took about a hundred hours of me doing solo episodes, just like this one from the podcast. We uploaded all of that into Eleven Labs and paid the upgraded version, obviously, because I didn't want the free version of my voice. I wanted the really well done version of my voice. And about three weeks later, they sent me back my own AI voice. Y'all, we have done trainings in the Press Record membership. I have done B Word podcast episodes where I didn't actually show up at all. We wrote them into Eleven Labs. We told it to use my voice to record it, and it did, and it sounded just like me. I mean, even the way I inflect in my tone, how often I pause when I speak, like all of that kind of stuff got put into these episodes or these trainings, and I would ask people after, I'm like, hey, what did you think of the episode? No one knew. No one knew that it wasn't me, and I didn't even have to show up. Here's what's amazing about this especially if you're doing an audio only podcast. If you can get that AI voice in 11 labs to mimic you close enough that your friends and family don't really realize it's not you, you can batch record at a whole new level because you can use AI to write out your episodes. You can have AI like chat, write it out in a natural speak pattern. And again, we teach all how to do this in the press record membership. You use AI to write it all out in a natural speech format. Then you upload it into 11 Labs AI, use your voice, and guess what? It comes out with a perfectly done episode. You don't even have to have a microphone. So this is so great. We can use it to batch ahead of time. We can use it if I'm on vacation and I'm not, you know, maybe I get inspired to do an episode, but I am not in a place where I can sit down and do a really quality recording we can just type it up and put it into 11 labs. Or a lot of times my team and I, if we're you know, producing training materials, like we will get all the training materials done. I will sign off on it because at the end of the day, I'm never gonna let AI say something in my voice, in my tone, or for my brand that I haven't signed off on. So we'll sign off on it. And then I'll let my team put it into 11 labs and tweak it so that it comes out correctly so that they can then use it and import it onto training materials or other things that we're doing. Another way you could use this is, hey, if you are using sponsorships and you've got pre-written scripts that you have to do, you know, as inserts into your dynamic inserts into your podcast, you don't have to record all of those. You can put them into 11 labs, have it record the insert and then dynamically put it into your podcast. It saves so many hours and so much time when you're not having to show up on video and you've got something that you want to record voice 11 labs again i will y'all i will link all of this in the show notes episodes so i know that that was short quick and to the point but hey let's be honest ai can help you be short quick and to the point and save you time but those are four things as an entrepreneur and a podcast host especially i have no regrets on spending the money on they all help me become that million dollar um, entrepreneur that I know you're all craving to be. So until next time, guys, I'll see you.